Good morning, challengers. It's Ingrid here again from Beginner's Photography Blog and the Take 52 Challenge uh, from Camera Shy. And so this week, our theme was unlucky. Uh, doing a bit of a flip-flop from the um, Paddy's Day last week. Everybody was talking about the look of the Irish. So I didn't have a very lucky week. It, <laughs> I think I brought my own bad luck on myself. Um, but never mind. Uh, this week is a new. Um, and what I'm doing this morning is looking back and and uh, having a little critique on one of our images that were submitted by um, a very regular contributor to the group, and that is Wendy Dunn. Now, Wendy chose um, to um, represent the theme Unlucky with this really nice black and white picture um, uh, of, uh, I think she wrote in the, th the thing, the, th the comments, the theme, um, the, what is it the rhyme uh, don't step on a crack or you'll break your mother's back or something like that which is kind of ghoulish um, but uh, growing up I know that we definitely didn't try and step on the cracks when we were walking on the the footpath um, or the, the sidewalk um, and uh, so this is something that resonated with me um, so let's have a quick look at how she took it so she used her 50 millimeter lens and um, she chose to shoot at ISO 400 um, and her f-stop was at f4 and a shutter speed of 1 1 25th of a second um, the um, the black and white, I think she, I don't think she said, or maybe I missed it, but I'm sure she probably um, changed it to black and white in post production. Um, and that is something to note that even though your camera might be able to shoot in black and white, you actually get a much better black and white if you do it in post production rather than doing it, um, I, you know, before you take it because you can control it so much more um, using like an editing program. Um, you know, even a free editor like uh, PicMonkey Online is a really good little editor to play around with. Okay, so let's have a look at her image. Well, um, the first thing that um, I notice is that it's definitely, we have a lot of blur here in the background. Um, and the foreground, it seems like your focus, Wendy, is about here, um, which, because it, it, it blurs out from there, and this is kind of like the sharpest part of the image, although it is hard to say, um, because it's just kind of a flat image. Um, and I think that, you know, since the subject of our image is maybe uh, the cracks, it may have been improved if the, the focus was back here a little bit. And if you had had stopped down a little bit from F4 to say maybe F2, uh, then you would have still gotten quite a blur in the background, but um, uh, your focus would have been a little bit more here. Um, but I do love this image. I love the way that the leading lines bring you through the image here and these trees. And the black and white works really well because it adds to that sense of mystery and intrigue as to what is going on down in this pathway? You know, it really, your eye wants to go down. Now, I will say that this line of where the concrete breaks here is a little distracting as well. It may have been better if that was omitted and maybe your um, image started from here. Um, but that's just, you know, a, a, an aside. But overall, a very nice uh, photograph. Um, and um, the, the, there does seem quite a bit of grain. I don't know whether that was because it was at 400. I, I wouldn't have thought we would have seen that much grain with 400. Maybe it's um, just something, that, the effect that you added in uh, post-production. Either way, I think it looks really good. Um, so I would also perhaps um, crop it again a little bit more to get rid of like since you've taken it in this way um, I might have cropped it, the bottom off but because this is the only point of focus here um, I'm sorry I'm pointing at my screen like as if you can see me instead of using my mouse so because this is the point of focus um, I don't particularly want to crop it right now but if I was to take it again I might have taken it um, to get rid of this so the crop would have been um you know it, this wouldn't have been seen in the image this bottom part and um, just because of this line here but also if you had lowered your aspect a little bit it can be quite an interesting effect too and what i mean by that is actually if you were taking the photograph like very very low down to the ground rather than eye level or just below eye level um it would have increased the maybe the drama a little bit of the cracks and the scoop of the road here as well and still 
have been able to see the trees and stuff in the background. Um, so if this is an area that's local to you, perhaps you might want to try some of those. These are just tips. I am by no means an expert and I think it's a really good photograph like this, but it's just sometimes interesting to try it another way. So perhaps maybe, you know, omitting this line, lowering your aspect, maybe um, decreasing your um, aperture here to about f2.0 and having your point of focus somewhere back here so that our eye is maybe more drawn to the lines of the, the crack rather than just the concrete. Um, but I think you did a great job with the um, the um, the black and white, the monochrome effect looks really good on this. Um, and I think you did really well. A very creative way of uh, interpreting the theme, Wendy. And uh, I think you did a really nice job. And I know you've inspired a lot of people to, to, to think outside of the box in the challenge. So next week, our uh, theme is score. So that will be good for any of you that like to uh, take some photos of sporting events. And I am sure that y'all will come up with something different. Um, and out of the box for that one. I really enjoyed looking through the photos for Unlucky. I kind of, it was kind of tinged with sadness because some of them were kind of sad, you know, but um, I think you really, the fact that everybody managed to capture that um, in their photography uh, says a lot about this group. So well done and I will see you all online this week.